This is Colin O'Keefe for LXBN TV. As part of our extensive coverage of Advocating Conference 2012, we'll be speaking with a few of the speakers in advance of the conference. Today, we have Stephen Fairley, founder and CEO of the Rainmaker Institute, LXBN author at the Rainmaker blog, and also, of course, one of this year's keynotes. Stephen, you know, you're, of course, one of the keynotes at Advocating. What do you plan on speaking on there? Well, I'm going to be talking about how to build a lifestyle law firm lead generation, lead conversion, and client retention. You know, Colin, there are three major areas that every law firm needs to focus on. Lead generation is, of course, generating more leads into the top of the funnel so that you can get more paying clients. Lead conversion is actually converting more prospects into paying clients or browsers into buyers. Mm -hmm. And then client retention is doing excellent work so that you can actually get one of two things, either repeat business or repeat referrals. And so what we're going to uh, talk about is in the context of how do you build a lifestyle law firm and how does that integrate with how well your firm is doing with lead generation, lead conversion, and client retention. Those are three very, very critical areas. You know, when it comes to building a lifestyle law firm, I can't tell you what a lifestyle law firm is for you. You need to decide what it is, but I will tell you that in general, a lifestyle law firm, the way that we talk about it at the Rainmaker Institute, is a law firm that allows you to live the life that you want to live and to leave the legacy that you want to leave. You know, many attorneys, they're just on the edge of burnout or they are just working so many hours that they have a hard time just connecting with friends or family members or taking that vacation that they want. Look, if you're going to build a lifestyle law firm, there are certain keys and there are certain characteristics that you need to have into place. There are certain systems that you need to have into place. So we're going to talk about that all within the context of building a lifestyle law firm. It'll be interesting to watch. Yeah, I know right now client development and business development very important right now for people to see real results and have it actually impact their law firm. Um, but getting over to advocating, you know, have you been to an advocating conference before? Um, you know, what are your thoughts on it? And if not, you know, what have you heard? Actually, this is my first advocating conference. I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, and actually, it'll be the first time uh, that I've been in Seattle. So I'm totally stoked about that as well. Uh, I love to travel. I've been all over the world. I think I'm up to about 32 different countries now. Uh, but I actually haven't made it to Seattle. Not that it's a different country, but that part of the country of the U.S., uh, I have not been there before, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, looking forward to seeing the sites, and I'm really looking forward to all the connections uh, at the conference. You know, um, I would highly recommend that um, uh, that you contact me, and I'll be there at the conference. We'll have a booth in the exhibit area, uh, and I'd love to meet as many attorneys as I can. I'd like to to uh, hear about what's going on in their practice and what's what's working and what's not working for them. What are they trying? What are they struggling with and how can we possibly be a resource to them you know we um, uh, we have a blog the rainmakerblog.com uh, that we update every single day of the week seven days a week with fresh relevant content free information for attorneys to be able to grow and market their law firm um, I'd also encourage you to connect with me on Twitter because I'll be tw live tweeting throughout the event and updating and stuff like that uh, my Twitter handle is just my first and last name. So if you go to twitter.com forward slash Stephen Fairley, and I believe if you go to the Advocating website and look under my bio, you'll find my Twitter handle there. And follow me on Twitter and, and tell me you're going to be at the conference because it's going to be a fantastic event. I think they're supposed to have a fantastic turnout, and it looks like some phenomenal speakers are going to be there. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. Let's log and Alex Band, of course, are based in Seattle. So if the weather's nice, you may get a treat. It can be... When, when it's nice, it's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So um, I look forward to seeing you there. But, you know, you're obviously a speaker yourself. But, you know, who are you interested in hearing talk at Advocating? Um, you know, who else are you looking forward to either seeing speak or just seeing in general? Well, I know that there's there are three or four topics that when I look through the agenda that I'm very excited about. Local search is really big. Uh, as you know, and I know that there's a speaker talking about local search. I don't recall his or her name right now, but I'm very much uh, looking forward to that. Uh, of course, uh, Carolyn Elephant is always a fantastic. She's, uh, she's got some very, very cutting edge, very novel ideas, so it'll be good to see her as well. Um, there's some other stuff about social media. I'm very big into social media, as you may guess. 
And I think there are two or three very uh, interesting presentations that I'm looking forward to attending in social media. Uh, and then, of course, seeing Mark Mark Britton and, and Josh King and having the opportunity to to hear them speak and talk about kind of the state of, you know, small law firms and what's going on and, and how to integrate marketing into a small law firm. That's going to be just a, a lot of fun and very educational. You know, it's, it's so important to invest in yourself and going to a conference like this. I can't think of any better way that I could spend a couple of days than, you know, being around a group of attorneys, you know, uh, of like-minded people who want to grow and develop their business and who are dedicated to excellence. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, likewise. I can't wait to see everyone there. I look forward to covering the conference. And it's nice to have people, you know, people that you see personalities online to finally meet them in real life. It's cool to see. Um, once again, that was Stephen Fairley, founder and CEO of the Rainmaker Institute, author, of course, on LXPM publication, the Rainmaker blog. Be sure to check that out. And, of course, keynote speaker at Advocating. For more on our coverage from Advocating, be sure to visit lxpn.lexblog.com. Thanks, Stephen. Thank you.